Hi everyone, I'm humbly Anna Anders here on the YouTube channel. Just want to share something with you. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a shout out here video. Um, you know, I got a friend who has um, she's a friend, and uh, what I want to say is she has a child, and I'm gonna keep this friend anonymous. But this friend uh, has a child who uh, has done like a summer reading program that has come through from her church, if you will. Um, and, and they get government funding and all that from the government to do these reading programs that kind of go into uh, the school IEPs and, and that kind of thing. Um, but what I want to do as an activist for, for, for Global Peace, if you will, my name is Anna Anders, I'm the founder of For Global Peace, and I just want to point out some things of how it's very subtle how the government infiltrates their agendas into reading programs, if you will. And so my friend uh, happened to come over and uh, was sharing some of the, the backpack stocking stuffers, if you want to call it, or backpack stuffing stuff, stuffers of free items that was given uh, to her child. So I'm keeping this all anonymous, but uh, I just want to share this with you because I want you to see for your own self, okay? And so when I saw it, I thought, this is really weird stuff. I mean, it's weird in the, in the way of indoctrinating and educating children, if you will, in a book kind of way, okay? So let's take a look. Thank you. So first, we're going to start off with this magazine here, and I want you to see this, okay? And there's a group of people sitting here in front of a school, and it says, this young lady's holding a protest sign that says, get out the vote. Okay, and, and, you know, there's different, a variety of different people here, if you will. Okay, a ballerina, person in a wheelchair, you know, somebody, uh, a young lady that's got that get the vote out. You know, a doctor, I don't know if this is supposed to be an astronaut, but I guess she's an astronaut, which I don't believe we went to the moon, okay. Um, and then we got maybe a teacher here and, and a scuba diver here. And the interesting that I found... The thing that I found interesting about this cover is this, the school. Clever Crazies for Kids Academy? Clever Crazies, huh? So this is what we're teaching kids, Clever Crazies? What does Clever Crazy mean? That's what I want to know. What does it mean? What do they mean? What's their intention by saying Clever Crazies, okay? So let's open this up. And uh, we're going to open this up. And it talks about where I am and who I am, okay? And uh, it, you, the citizen. Hey, look there, you, the citizen, right? And then over here, opposite page, you and your money, okay? So we're, we're taking items such as a truck, scissors, mail truck, school bus, groceries. I voted today. Look, at it's a female. I voted today, and then right next to her is a police officer, okay? Get a load of that. So this is the community in the center here, front and center, school on top, hotel, food store, hospital, bank, police. See, notice the bank, the, the police are right there by the bank, uh, kind of protecting the bank, banksters. A gas station here too. Um, fire station, toy factory, post office. I mean, really, this is all we're making in the United States is toys which are pri primarily shipped in from China, I bet. So anyways, the whole ob object here is to take, for example, let's say the scissors, and you draw a line over here, and you get over to the hairstylist, right? So on this side, they're talking about you and your money, okay? And I want you to watch this. So here's a young lady. She's got money in her hands, but right next to her is the police officer. It's the subliminal things that I want to talk about how we get indo indoctrinated, folks, okay? Woman holding money, police officer right there. I mean, we, we give money away by paying tickets, don't we? So, yeah, we do. Um, but back to this major scheme of a community, you know, we got one business here, and it happens to be a toy factory. Come on, United States, can't we come up with something more significant, like maybe a solar store, alternative energy, you know, I mean, that's where we're at today, uh, go to crazyclever.com, you and your money, 
sticks out. Facts, quiz, games, compete for prizes. Clay, crazy, clevercrazy.com. You the citizen. You know, um, yes, we're citizens of the nation here, but I think there's more professional ideas or ideals, if you will, to uh, attach our children to. You know, they don't have to just be a bus driver. They don't have to be just a grocer person. You know, we don't have to put them in a pattern of uh, predictability is what I want to say. Um, I would like to know where these books are created and manufactured. That's what I want to know. I don't see any of it here. So I'm going to give them a call. So this is book number one. And you can see kids here and then they give different levels. So now, look at this book. We're going to go into level one. So see here, level one? We're going to level one with this book. Okay? And so now we're talking about Captain America. Okay, so if you're a young lady, why would we want to talk about Captain America? But look at this. This is Steve Rogers, folks. And he's got a green suit on. It looks like a military suit with the Statue of Liberty in the back. And the American flags waving and confetti all in the streets. But look at Captain, or I'm sorry, look at, this is Steve Rogers. Look at him, how he looks. Okay, this is Steve. He's a soldier and his friends think he's weak and clumsy. See, weak and clumsy? Wow. Why would a soldier be weak and clumsy? Steve was not always strong until they put him in a green suit. But Steve has a secret. He is not what he seems. Wow. Talk about manipulating the kids. Steve is really Captain America, and his friends call him Cap. Look at there. Okay, so now we're going to go over here to this page. When Steve was a young man, the country went to war. War, Pearl Harbor, a 